Since early this morning, we've seen a continuous rotation of divers going into this pond. We've yet to see anything being brought out. However, the sheriff says once they finish up their work here today, that will be it for this search site. Two dive teams sent out to search the two small reservoirs near Leila Fowler's family home. Officials would not say why their focus has turned to the water or what they're looking for. Investigators say this pond is only four feet deep, but it's dark, so divers are searching the bottom with their hands. Neighbors who live on the pond say they don't remember seeing anyone near the pond last Saturday when Leila Fowler was murdered. We were home. I have two little girls here and they may have went outside and played on the trampoline for a little while that day went outside and and our dogs run loose but nothing diff different on a Saturday. Deputies also finished canvassing the neighborhood knocking on 300 doors but the sheriff says he didn't think the effort produced any more witnesses. It's now been more than a week since eight year old Layla Fowler was stabbed to death inside her home. The sheriff's office says it's now feeling the pressure of the national spotlight to solve the case. Well the public you know there's always they're always wandering and they're you know, wanting answers and and they got, you know, they're giving you suggestions who they think it is and that type of thing. And it's, yeah, so it's a little pressure. The sheriff's office says it is narrowing this case. However, they say they still do not have a suspect or a motive in Layla Fowler's murder. In Calaveras County, Lee Painter, News 10.